Today we're going to show you how we rig up for steelhead float fishing and uh, we got Daniel's 10 foot uh, float rod here and uh, it's rated 6 to 10 pound. We use it for both winter and summer steelhead and uh, we use 4 pound as kind of the lightest uh, up to 8 or 10 pound. Uh, so this is our primary float rod and we're going to show you how we rig up uh, for float fishing. So the first thing you're going to want to do is tie on your bobber stop. Now this is a slip float uh, rig that we're doing today so you can adjust your depth if you're fishing six, eight, ten feet deep. Uh, you can adjust it accordingly so you put your bobber stop on, tighten, tighten it down. The next thing you're going to slide on to your main line is a bead. This just kind of helps keep your float separated from the bobber stop and not get it tangled up or stuck in it. So we'll slide that bead down. The next thing we're going to slide on is our float. This is a West Coast float and it's a 3 8 ounce, quarter ounce quarter ounce west coast. Um, these are good floats for steelhead. We also use the clear drenins. Um, those are good too. This is similar to an 11 gram drenin, the quarter ounce. After that, I'm going to slide on two lead. They're a, kind of a hollow core round or egg sinker shape. You can get them. They're made for trout fishing. I think they're, they're called egg sinkers. Um, these are little guys. You could use a, a 3 8 um, or two smaller ones like this. Important part is that it matches the weight of the float at the end. So we're going to slide those two on and then we're going to put on a snap swivel and this will allow us to put different leaders on and change rigs real quick when you're on the river. I'm tying a fishing fool knot. Works great for everything. And we have a separate video in the knots section on the website on how to tie this knot. Extremely strong knot. Okay, so now slide this down. Kind of a condensed view. We've got our bobber stop, our bead, our float here, the two inline sliding sinkers, which some people use fixed weights. Uh, prefer the sliding because when a steelhead's thrashing around on the surface, uh, this will allow these to slide and take kind of the pressure off your leader. If it was a fixed weight, it would just be in one place and it could, if you're using lighter line, end up uh, breaking your leader. So this is the basic setup. Uh, we're using a uh, floating braid. This is a Berkeley Nanofill fishing line. Works really well for float fishing. This is the 12 pound um, version of their Nanofill. All right, now I'm going to show you uh, one of the leaders that we use uh, for float fish, and this is a double. Um, we're going to use a double rig here, which works really well under a float. And we're using uh, some of our yarn balls. It's going to be a double yarn ball rig. Uh, this is made with our UV yarn. So the first thing you're going to do is tie an egg loop. into your top yarn ball and leave a tag in here. It's kind of up to you on how far you want your dropper. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and tie a standard egg loop. And Daniel ties these um, where they have a little extra room in the front which allows you to tie your 
your egg loop a little easier without the yarn ball getting in the way. So, you continue wrapping a few more wraps. So, um, so now we have it suspended in the middle of the leader. This also is set up with an egg loop in it, so if you want to run just a single hook, you can and add eggs to it and run bait above. Now I'm going to tie the bottom one on. Um, I'm using a little bit smaller yarn ball, kind of like to do that. I'm either going to use a fishing fool on this one. Um, it's a nice, strong knot. And a lot of times, the fish are going to take your bottom rig. Alright, so now we've got our double rig set up. We're going to add some split shot to the leader. This helps you get, um, in this case, your yarn down to the bottom quickly and, and it helps it stay down there. So I'm just going to put three above the yarn balls. You can put two or three above. You can put one in between here if you'd like. Um, doesn't really matter. Just make sure they're kind of evenly separated. And so this will help your yarn get down quickly along with your two uh, lead sliding sinkers on the main line. Uh, now after this, we're going to put a regular swivel here. We're going to tie that on again with a uh, fishing full knot. So we have a nice solid connection. You're going to want to wet the line and all that, but it's just a quick demo. So now we've got our swivel here at the top. We've got our three BB size split shot, small split shot. And this is a, a completed leader here. And you can pre-tie as many of these as you want. If you want to try different colors, combinations, you could run a jig on the bottom, you can run bait, uh, kind of endless uh, options with this setup here. You can also do the same leader and just tie uh, like a jig on the bottom. You don't have to run a double rig, but they work pretty well. So now we're going to uh, attach it to our main line that we already tied up here. And we've got the snap swivel here, so we're just going to attach the two here. And now we've got a nice completed rig and this is ready to fish. Um, I use a six pound leader. You can kind of adjust it depending on water levels. Uh, in the winter you can go up to eight or ten uh, with this type of rod. In the summer you can go down to four or six. And uh, once you cast it out, the float's going to go up and you're, in this instance, going to be fishing at like two and a half feet deep, three feet. So this is uh, pretty much how we do it for all of our steelhead float fishing. It's a really good way uh, to get your leader down, get your bait down, and keep it down with lighter line.